First of all, Megan, tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I did my bachelor's degree at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln in biology. And I always wanted to go into ecology and get my master's. And when I was doing my research online, looking for places, I found Queen Mary and I applied and here I am. <laughs> oh, that's, that's really good. Did you do any statistics in your past degree? I did a little bit. Um, I took a statistics class early on in my undergrad. We didn't mm. really do anything with R in that one though, but I did take some classes later on, more ecology focused classes where we did some work in R. Oh, jolly good. Okay, so tell us a little bit about our, our module then, um, statistics and data analysis. So what, how did you find it? I actually really liked it and could be because I did have some prior experience in R, so it wasn't as intimidating for me because any of those coding languages can be a bit of a learning curve at the beginning, but they did a really good job of kind of explaining how the data analysis fit into the work you did in R, and everyone was very available to talk if you had questions, which was very helpful. Okay, so what happens if a student came, never, never done any R before? Would they be at sea? Would they be able to cope? might be a rough first week because like i said it is definitely a learning curve but it's doable yes um the the module organizer who's called uh, professor rob nell i think he's written a little sort of online book on r hasn't he yes so would that be helpful if students who had no r training came and did that before they arrived just run through his own little book very helpful and another thing that he did, he had the interactive tutorials in R that he had us work through. And we had maybe like a video or like a short passage to read and then a little interactive code chunk where like if you got stuck, it would give you hints, which was also very, very helpful when learning how to use R. OK, and so why do we need to learn R? What, what is it you learn in R, this program R? It's a really powerful tool for data analysis, especially when you have these gigantic thousand line data sets, which theoretically you could analyze it by hand or maybe in Excel, but it would take so long and you would wish you learned R instead. But there are so many different things you can use it for, making graphs, running the statistical tests. So it's just a really versatile and important tool to be able to use yeah yes I, I mean i think that's right that's why we like to teach it and why we think it's important to learn it um so just tell us about those skills do you, do you see them as valuable skill sets for your degree then to learn that these packages well, where would you imagine it's going to be most important those especially you know, in the research project, it's going to be a huge part of the project is going to be the data analysis aspect of it. So knowing, having some familiarity with R is going to be really important there. And yeah. then if you go on to a career in research or even just like a field ecologist type position, you're going to need to know how to use R most likely. Yeah. I would say actually uh, that a lot of jobs outside of academia use R. Yeah. You know, many, many programs are written in R. And in fact, one reason we like to teach this program R is not only because of the powers of the statistical tests and the, the modeling you can do, but because it's used in a whole range of platforms that then give students a skill set to sell for jobs and many right. many students do do that um anyway um i think what you said i i agree with that r uh, is very powerful for your projects it will help you build graphs and things like that so thank you very much uh, megan that was very helpful and i'm i hope you enjoyed your statistics and data analysis module <laughs> thank you